had a spark when you started, but now you're just garbage. Yo, Ebony Prince 2K24, it was cool when it started. It was like, oh man, this is some evil villain, Batman Dark Knight, something wild going on in real life. What's Drake gonna do? And now we're to the point, yo, drop it or don't. For real, for real. Shit or get off the pot, cause it's getting annoying. So in case y'all don't know, quick rundown. Ebony Prince 2K4 pops up uh, with the items from Meet the Grams, the shirt, the pill bottles, the Ozempic stuff. Like, yo, I got more than this on Drake. And he was involved in an incident at the Mark Hotel. And it involved Christopher Alvarez, I believe, who's a journalist who's disabled. And something happened between them. Something happened between them. And that's what this account's trying to get off. And it was cool at first, but it's just been ongoing. It's like, I'm not gonna tell you guys, I need my money. It's all about money, the bag. This is about diamonds, all this and that, bid on this. Yeah, just Whoever this is, they're trying to get all their lifetime shit off in this one moment. Honestly, it feels like the Ebony Princess is dragging it and dragging it because they haven't gotten the number that they wanted. Here's a picture of Drake with Christopher Alvarez, which this doesn't make sense. So part of Christopher Alvarez's statement was that him and Drake met briefly at dinner and then they went back to the suite and had this amazing time listening to unreleased beats. Lot weird about that. Why you? How did that happen? Drake's just going around randomly meeting people and hey, come listen to some beats. All that sounds weird and fake and made up and like allegedly you got a check cut and all this stuff. But in the end, you're an adult. Drake's an adult. And that's why this is so lame because the person, Ebony Prince, talks about they're a mandatory reporter, meaning if someone's abused, they have to report it and all these things. All right, but one thing academics brought up that was a good point. If you have anything incriminating on Drake and you're dragging it out like this, well, you're a bad person too, because why wouldn't you take it to the police, someone who can actually do something? You're all about this bag, this bag. Come on. What an asshole you look like. If people were hurt, if anything bad really happened and you're just sitting on this, well, all this freedom fighter bullshit that you're kicking is out the window. It's irritating, it's nasty, it's annoying, because it's like, now now all of a sudden you want to drop it. I'm gonna drop it today. No, I'll drop it at Monday at noon. Dog, if Monday at noon comes and goes, mass on fault leave leave this person in the week ago because it they're just clout chasing and being stupid if you have something so earth shattering and you're just sitting around because you're being an attention whore well yeah you're the real villain you're the real riddler i would say so monday at noon it's gonna be what it is if nothing's shown and proven at that time, we got to leave this alone because it's really irritating and it feels like somebody's really just using this whole thing to get their shit off and get their attention on. And we're all on the internet about attention. Like, don't make any excuses about it. But to have something you claim is incriminating and you're using it as a tool so people's eyes stay on you, that's messed up, especially if someone got hurt. Someone got hurt and you're still being a cornball like this? Nasty. You are a villain. You're everything you're trying to play. So y'all let me know in the comments. Are you waiting on Monday at noon with your breath held? And you're just like, you know, are you over this already? And you're like, dog, if this is something about two adults being weird, don't care. If no kids were hurt, if no one was hurt, don't care you're a weirdo and this is dumb and that's where i'm leaving it so definitely smash up the like all crazy hit the subscribe and i'm gonna be back with y'all soon peace